So you want to put audio and video on your web page, right? Well, I can show you how. It's really quite simple if you stick with me. In this video, we're going to go over the various audio and video formats supported by the browsers. I'll talk about the audio widget and the video widget and the various controls that you can use. I'll even show you how to embed audio from SoundCloud as well as YouTube videos on your pages. Now, this tutorial is gonna move quick, so if you're ready, open up the Atom Text Editor and let's do this. Okay, so back in the day, when we wanted to put audio and video on a web page, we had to use these things like the object and the embed tags, and we would use Flash, and man, it was a hassle. Thank God Flash is dead. There were so many security issues with it and so forth. Now, we can still use the embed and the object tag if we need to, but HTML5 provides a much better way. Let's go ahead and open up our blank index HTML. We'll type HTML inside Atom, hit enter. This will populate most of the tags for us. We'll go inside of the body tag and we're going to type audio, hit enter. We're going to take out this source attribute and we're going to replace it with the controls attribute. The controls attribute is a Boolean attribute that says, hey, browser, display the audio controls on the page. Inside the audio tag, we're going to go ahead and use a source tag because we don't have a source attribute in the audio. Now, I've already downloaded a MP3 off of the internet. I'm going to paste in here the source for this. It's a dance type music from Bobby Richards, I think it is. Uh, we're going to take out the type, click save, we'll go over to our web page and we will refresh. And here is our little audio control. Now, if I click play, you should hear the music. Yeah. Okay, enough of that. So that is the audio tag. Now there's a couple other things that we can do here. For example, if the browser does not support the audio format, it's a good idea on the next line to use this text statement. It says, this browser does not support the audio tag. That's what you would do. Now, the way this works is when the audio tag loads on the page, it first attempts this source. And if this source tag doesn't work, meaning it doesn't even support the MP3, it's going to go down to the next item. And if it doesn't support that, it would go down to the next item and so forth. So let me give you an example here. If I have this page and I type in same thing again, but let's say aug is the name of the file. We'll save it and refresh. What's going to happen is it's going to first hit the first source attribute. If it can't load it, it's going to go to the second one, which is this bottom one here, MP3. So if we click play, Da, 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 da. you still hear it again. All right, that's the way the audio controls work. Now there's a couple of other things here, a couple other Boolean attributes that we need to keep in mind. There's the autoplay, which is again, a Boolean attribute. It tells the browser to load this audio source on default. As soon as it opens up, it starts playing it. It's really not a good idea to do that. It annoys people half to death when they load a page and it just starts playing music. There's the controls, which is a Boolean attribute. We've already demonstrated that. There's also a loop Boolean attribute and hopefully you get the idea what the loop does. And then there's the muted Boolean attribute. Okay, so that was the audio widget. Now there's a couple of common audio formats we need to keep in mind. There is the AAC, Advanced Audio Coding. There is the MIDI Musical Instrument Digital Interface. If you have a piano and you probably you see that little funky plug in the back, that's what that MIDI instrument interface is. There's MP3, everyone's pretty used to that. There's MP4, which comes in a .mp alpha, which is for audio. And then there's the MP4, which is also video, which sometimes people use for audio. There is the Og Vorbis. That's a really fun name to say. Uh, that is a open source audio coding format developed by the XIF Org Foundation. Uh, then there's the WAVE audio format file. This was originally developed by IBM and Windows uh, for storing uncompressed audio. And then the final one we have is the WMA, which is the Windows Media Audio. Now these are the common audio formats that we typically see. Okay, we talked about audio in the various formats. Let's go ahead and talk about how to embed a video file on your website. The way we do this, we'll go ahead and jump back into Atom real quick. We'll type video, hit enter. I'm gonna remove most of this here. And so we have the video opening and closing tags. We're gonna go ahead and add the controls, just like the audio. And we're gonna specify a width 
of 500. And for the video, we're gonna specify a source. And for the source, I'm gonna go ahead and use the source over on the Zybooks website. It's, again, we're gonna take out the type attribute. We'll save it and we'll refresh our page. And we have a simple uh, web page that's available. Click play. Wow, that is really, really loud. Bring the volume down on that. And we have the, the audio and video playing for this particular video. Okay, we'll save it. Looking at our video controls. So we have a couple of other attributes we could use here. We have the autoplay. We have controls, which you've already seen. There's loop, there's muted, and there is with. Now I need to say this here. Different web browsers support different video formats mainly because of patent issues. And this means that we need to use multiple source tags many times to make alternative audio or video files available. Again, the way you do this, if we were to look, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so we can see it all in one line. The way we would do this is if we wanted to go from one source to the next, it works in a top-down fashion. So we'll hit the first one. If it doesn't work, it'll go to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one and so forth. Now, the common video formats that are out there, uh, there is the MPEG-4 or the MP4, which is what this is. There is the AUG Thora, which is the counterpart to the AUG Vorbis. There's QuickTime, which is usually the .mov. There is the WebM version. Uh, this is something that was developed by Mozilla, Opera, Adobe, and Google for the web. And there is the WMV, which is the Windows Movie Video Format. Okay, this last part we're going to do really quick. I'm going to show you how to embed a audio file from SoundCloud and also a video from YouTube. Now, what I've done is I've already found a particular artist on SoundCloud that I was enjoying listening to. His name is GM, and he does a lot of piano cinematic music. All right, so we're going to come down here to the share button. We'll right click on that, go to the embed, and you can see that iCloud has created this code. It's HTML code, basically. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back to our site. Inside of our body tag, I'm going to hit enter a couple times, paste that in, and I'm going to put an H1 above this just so we know what it is. Sort sound cloud embed. We'll save it. We'll go back to our web page. And after we've saved and refresh, there is our SoundCloud that we've embedded. We could do the same thing from YouTube and look, oh, this guy looks interesting. Ah, I think I want to embed his video. So I'm going to click on it, go down to share, click embed, and we'll select all, copy it. We'll come back to our site inside the body, paste it in right above it. We're going to do another H1 YouTube embed. We're going to go back over here. We'll refresh and of course, there is our YouTube video that's embedded. Okay, thanks for watching. As always, please, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.